just getting ready, day two, with some uh, nice warm up. Gotta get the blood flowing. Some team building exercises. Strong men are saving us. <laughs> I think the ladies would be better. <laughs> I agree. The water got kind of rough, and then we ended up on a rock, and now we are stuck. You did it. Yeah. <laughs> you feel refreshed? Yeah. Yeah. Um, water is really we just stopped for a short break, but a delicious break as well. I've got a cranberry chocolate cookie and milfoil coil butter, I believe it's called, on this like dehydrated nut bread. It was like nettle. Nettle, oh yeah, nettle. it was like nettle. Uh, so it, it looks delicious, you've seen I already taken a bite. It tastes delicious too. Mm. I thought this was water. Definitely not water. It's, well I guess it is water, but it's um, infused with different flowers that are grown here. And it's so delicious. It's really sweet. And it doesn't taste floral. It just tastes like sweet, delicious, healthy water. And this here is chaga coffee. So I drink chaga tea at home, which is made by the chaga mushroom. Really cool looking mushroom, actually. It kind of looks like a piece of bark. And then it's just mixed with coffee. And it's delicious. I am so making this when I go home. Sia's taking a little nap. And I've got a piece of very long grass that I'm going to shove in his nose. <laughs> nice stretch. It feels good. It looks ridiculous. Some good yoga right there. You've been practicing? Hmm? Yeah. This is the home stretch. <laughs> the home stretch. That's it. Ah. Hello, everyone. We've got an audience. That's it. We made it. This is the end of the line for Kristen and I. The, yes. the rest of the the rest of the crew is going to continue on. For another couple hours today after lunch, and we then, are off to the reindeer. Fire. Yeah, we still got a lot more to do. We're going hiking, seeing reindeer, arts and crafts, lots of fun <laughs> stuff. Yeah. We have stopped in Pelikosinjemi, which is a village here in uh, the north of Finland. We've been rowing for hours, two days now, and we're gonna be having lunch and then continue on with another adventure. But check this out. While you're on break, you can get a massage. As well as hang out in a teepee. Massage, then teepee. We are at Kopara Reindeer Park and we are going to go and feed some reindeer. Get your reindeer food. Reindeer food. I'm afraid they're going to chew my finger off. Oh my god, I'm surrounded by reindeer. You should pet them. There you go. Not hey. yet, I'm filming. Woo. I will hey. feed you in a second. I know. Oh, I hurt you. Oh, you just want the food. Like, don't pet me, just feed me. Feed me. Do they like to be touched? No, I thought they don't probably like dogs. <laughs> Do you like this camera? <laughs> you like the camera, buddy? We are absolutely surrounded by reindeer. Look at all of them. All right. Look at this guy's antlers. Look how massive they are. Whoa. I am going to try and high five a reindeer. 
the antlers in the winter time. Oh. Wow. <laughs> okay. They are very sensitive about the antlers. They they really don't like it if you try to touch them. So do they do they feel it? Yeah. They they, they can feel that yes, you they really touch feel them. It. When they are running in the forest, they never run it like they hit the tree with the antlers because it hurt. Yeah. But then end of the summer, they start to change like a bone. And they make like this with the trees that they can get that velvet away. And then they are hard like a bone and they can fight with the other one. Right. And then they fall off. And yeah, it they fall hurt. off. Yeah, males, males are losing them in the start of the winter. And then the females, they, they lose them at the end of the winter time. Yeah. Females wow. are pregnant in the winter time. So it means that they need more food than the males. Yes. So actually, all the females, they can push all the males away. Right. And eat. Right. So they have they have a weapon. Yeah, yeah. Because males, they need the antlers in October when it's a mating season. Right. They have to look good for the females. They yeah. have to fight with the other male. But after they have done their job, right. they, they lose their antlers and nature don't care about them anymore. And That's the, true. And when they lose the antlers, it doesn't bleed. It just no, falls off. No, they just fall off. Like there's two hundred thousand reindeer in Finnish Lapland. So it means that we get 400,000 antler per year on the crown. White well, reindeer! Some, Very cool. Other, totally Mr. White reindeer, yeah. would you like some food? Ah! <laughs> Here you go. Wow. <laughs> All of the reindeer are owned. And you might have seen already in some of our other videos that they have kind of this necklace band around their neck. That allows the reindeer herders to know which reindeers are theirs. They also have marks in their ears as well, or they're wearing bells around their necks, and that allows the herders to know where the reindeers are located. Some also have a GPS, so that allows the herders to track where the reindeers are. But none of them are kept within a, a specific area. Like, you'll see fence behind me, and there are tons of reindeer in there, but they're not trapped in there. The, the doors aren't closed. They have the ability to roam anywhere they want in the forest. And that is the same with all of the reindeers here. None of them are kept in one specific area and kept there. And they can't, you know, roam around wherever they want to go. But nature is giving some help. End of June we get millions of mosquitoes here. Mm. Maybe you have noticed that we have some. Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. When the mosquito season is starting, all the reindeer, they like to go into big group. Yeah. That is the way how they can protect themselves against the mosquitoes. It's so hot and bad smell up of the reindeer group. But mosquitoes, they can't fly inside and bite the reindeer who are in the middle of the group. Mm. So they take turns? Yeah, and they, they are so many, like, if there's open area like this here, yeah, there can be 5,000 reindeer all together. Wow. And they That's are all, all making like this with the... That's why they stop. Yeah, like, they want to get okay. some dust coming up and, and making okay. kind of a cloud around them gotcha. that the mosquitoes can't come. Yeah. And of course it's quite a hot up of the animals, it's yeah. bad smell. Yeah. So mosquitoes they don't come. So that's why mosquitoes are they are most important animals for us. And I think that we are the only and only people who loves mosquitoes. Yeah. Only people hate yeah. hate all the mosquitoes. Yeah. But for us it's it's important. Yeah. The fun never stops here on Hopscotch the Globe, so be sure to subscribe so you never miss another adventure. Happy travels!